the Prince of Wales stakes next. This is a mile and a half group two. And the top one is lift up for John Morgan. Gravity for Joshua Sutherland. Bounce for Doug Warren. Golden Gate Bridge, Paul Road, Sign Polar. Derek Hinton, Sky Blue Knights, Darren Thompson. Soap Opera, Molly at Surfer. Deadlock Cyclone, Django. Tango Alpha, Tam King. Deadlock Shockwave for Django. Queen Anne for Paul Rhodes. And Tango Whiskey for Tam King. So 12 of them in. A dozen. Just the one turn in this. On the new market track. And away they go. And Sky Blue Knights in the red jacket, just about the first to show. And soap Opera and Tango Whiskey also close up now. Soap Opera is going to come through and take it up for the trainer who took the first race. Going to go for a quick double. And it's Soap Opera in the lead then. You want a double of Tango Whiskey in second. Bounces in third, then lift up and Sky Blue Knights. Gravity's after that one. Towards the back, Sign Polar is the back marker. Oh, Sign Polar may be the one that won the art last season, so. I remember, but it's so lop, so popular in the lead by about four to bounce in second. Then Tango Whiskey and Queen Anne lift up is after that one. And Gravity, Sky Blue Knights, and Deadlock Cyclone. The two of the big trainers had a shock in the first race with one or two big name horses not running particularly well. And they'll be hoping to bounce back in this one. And Doug will be hoping to just bounce and not bounce back. Bounce with Bounce, who's moving into second. So Bopper's the leader. Bounce is second, lift up the ground, the outside is third, and Queen Anne in fourth. Tango Whiskey on the near side is fifth, and just behind that one is Gravity, the yellow jacketed deadlock cyclone on the inside of Tango Alpha. Second Town King horses, two Town King horses that are not great, and Sky Blue Knights after that one, Golden Gate Bridge towards the back with Sign Polar and Deadlock Shockwave is just about the back marker. They've got five furlongs to race now then. And Soap Opera leads by about a length and a half to Sky Blue Knights. Gravity is coming through now to challenge. And looks like he's going to try and take it up. Gravity on the outside of Soap Opera. Gravity and Soap Opera. Then Sky Blue Knights. Bounce is still going well. Deadlock Cyclone is on the outside. Lift up his next. Then Golden Gate Bridge trying to get into it. But it's Soap Opera on the near side. who's still just about in front then now from Gravity. Deadlock Cyclone looks to be going well. So too does Sky Blue Knights. Bounce is running a big race. Then comes Deadlock Shockwave. Golden Gate Bridge is trying to get into it. Tango Whiskey is the one that looks beaten at the back. But it's almost four in line now. Then Deadlock Shockwave. Sky Blue Knights. Gravity. Soap Opera. Deadlock Cyclone is just behind them. They're well inside the final two furlongs. And Deadlock Shockwave in the yellow is just about in front from Sky Blue Knights. Then Gravity and Deadlock Cyclone. But it's three in a line there. Deadlock Shockwave. Sky Blue Knights and Gravity into the final half foot on the begin to go. And Sky Blue Knights just begins to assert on the near side. Then Gravity, Deadlock Shockwave and Deadlock Cyclone. But it's Sky Blue Knights and Gravity. And Sky Blue Knights is just going to hold on, I think, as they get to the line. Sky Blue Knights just about held on, I think. Oh, coming at him on his outside. But I think the line came just in time. Yes, it did. Sky Blue Knights takes it from Gravity and Deadlock Cyclone. Well, the poor Rose horses looks like it ran on well to be fourth. Might have been Queen Anne. Let's take a look at the card then. It's Sky Blue Knights for Darren Thompson, the winner. Gravity for Joshua Sutherland, second. Deadlock Cyclone for Django was third. Queen Anne for Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Tango Alpha for Tam King was fifth.